And you don't have any? Beit Israel is a community originally from the United States with roots in the Black Hebrew Israelites movement. Now based in Israel, the religious group believes Tel Arad to be the true Jerusalem. These are the people of the book. That's right. Even the, the Israeli government, however, does not recognize Tel Arad as a holy site. Israel have a law, you see, that indicates that if you have a holy place within the land of Israel, that you should be able to visit there freely, you see, without having to pay entry for it. So because of that, we want what everybody else, what every other community have in Israel. We want our people that's coming from America, our people that live here in Israel, we want them to be able to enter into our, the holy place. Leader of Beit Israel, Hoshua Amario, is citing an Israeli law enacted 52 years ago. The law says holy places will be protected from any desecration with freedom of access to those who hold them as sacred. Tel Arad is currently under Israel's park authority, where it is being treated as a national park and campsite. Beit Israel's activities are slowly being banned from the site, and its members must pay a fee to enter for prayers. I fear God more than I fear men. You understand? So we do go ahead and do what we were required to do, but we have a backlash afterwards saying that we broke the rules of the place. Several years ago, Beit Israel began working with Israeli lawyer Daniel Taib. That's the handshake for the revolution, the Torah revolution. Together, they are working on bringing the case before the Israeli government to have Tel Arad officially recognized as a holy place. Over the past year, the situation started escalating. Before last year, Chief Hoshua and his community could go there for their ceremonies and sacrifices. Everything was authorized. No one hurt anyone. Now they are being given difficulties to practice their rituals. So we are stepping up our legal actions to help. Currently, the group holds most of their rituals outside the boundaries of the park's authority. And abiding by Israeli law is beginning to dishearten many members of the community. The scriptures say that the city of David is the same as Zion, or that Mount Zion is the city of David. If the scriptures literally say that, then how can you have a sign that points Mount Zion this way and then the city of David that way. It just doesn't make sense. We know that that's Mount Zion and we would like to come uh, there and pray and serve the Most High as, as we're commanded, that's all. It hurts, it hurts really bad. It's something that I think about every day. I cry about it, I pray about it, I just, Every day, I'm just, I'm dealing with it every day, everywhere I go in this country. It's really hard because that's who we are. That's who we are as a people. Israel's Parks Authority declined I-24 News request to be interviewed on Beit Israel in Tel Arad. It remains to be seen if the community will ever get the recognition it seeks.